So you want to automate your tasks in DaVinci Resolve using Python? That's an exciting journey and a very powerful one. In this video, we'll start right from the beginning. How to set up your computer for a smooth Python scripting workflow in DaVinci Resolve. First, I will show you the long process. Then a more convenient trick is provided at the end of the video. Step one, tools you need. We'll be using DaVinci Resolve 19.1 free version for this tutorial. The process should be very similar for the studio version as well. Now, before we get into coding, let's make sure you have everything set up properly. Python. I'm assuming you already have Python installed on your system. To confirm, open your terminal command prompt on Windows and type Python dash dash version. If Python is installed, it'll show you the version number. If not, head over to python.org and install the version that fits your system. Code editor. Next, I recommend installing a good code editor. The most popular one, and the one I'll be using, is Visual Studio Code, VS Code. You'll find the download link in the video description. Step two, writing a simple script. Now that you have Python and a code editor already, let's get to the fun part, commanding DaVinci Resolve using Python. Here's a very simple script that creates a new timeline in the current project. Save this script as first underscore script dot py. You can save it in any convenient location on your computer. For this example, I'm saving mine to here. Step three. Where should you place your script? Here's something important. You can't run your script directly from where you saved it. Why not? Specifically in the free version, DaVinci Resolve requires scripts to be placed in a specific folder. Here's how to find that folder. Open DaVinci Resolve. Go to Help, Documentation, Developer. Open the scripting folder. Inside it, open the file named readme.txt file. Scroll to the section which says, using a script, and find the default script locations for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. For Windows, the default script path looks like this. To quickly go there, open a file explorer window. In the address bar, type percent app data percent and press enter. Then navigate to Blackmagic Design, DaVinci Resolve, Support, Fusion, Scripts, Comp. Now, copy your Python script into this folder. Step four. Running the script from DaVinci Resolve. Open DaVinci Resolve. Make sure you have a manually created project. Just an empty project is enough. Then, go to the Fusion page. From the top menu, go to Workspace Scripts. You should now see your script listed there. Click to run it. If everything works, a new timeline will be created automatically. To confirm success or check for any errors, go to Workspace Console. You should see a success message printed like Make sure the show script messages and show input messages icons are enabled, not grayed out, or you won't see any output. Step five, making script access easier with symbolic links. Now that we know how to run a script from the default folder, here's a more convenient trick. Instead of copying your scripts into that location every time, let's link your project folder to Resolve's default script folder using a symbolic link. Here's how. Choose your desired script folder. Mine is below. Open command prompt as administrator. To do that, press start. Type CMD, right click it, and choose run as administrator. Use the following command to create the symbolic link. The command is also in the description, but make sure to update the paths according to your own setup. For Mac OS and Linux users, try the commands below and include it in the description as well. Mac OS users, open terminal, use this command. Linux users, open your terminal. Use this command. Again, update the paths based on your folder locations. Restart DaVinci Resolve. From the top menu, go to Workspace Scripts. Click it to run again and confirm that it still works. If you made it this far, congratulations. Your computer is now fully set up to run Python scripts that automate tasks in DaVinci Resolve. In upcoming videos, I'll build on this and take you from beginner to advanced scripting techniques inside DaVinci Resolve. Let me know in the comments what you would love to automate. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned. A lot more is coming. Thanks for watching.